Kanye West is back on a dangerous social media warpath and he's fine with firing wherever it hits. The rapper has been posting incessantly on Instagram about a number of issues ranging from his usual dissing of Pete Davidson to calling out his former mother-in-law, Kris Jenner. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how Kanye West mocks Pete Davidson, shares private Kim Kardashian texts, and calls out fashion brand Gap for their recent snubbing. First up, how did it all begin? The incessant posting actually began quite innocently when Kanye shared a movie picture of tennis legend Venus Williams followed by a second picture of the late Virgil Albloom. But things rapidly took a turn when Wes started taking shots at the entire Kardashian family, including his ex-wife Kim, former mom-in-law Kris Jenner, and the usual suspect, Pete Davidson. All of these angry tirades coming from the stronger rapper are nothing we haven't heard before, but what seems to be the problem in the fact that Yee doesn't know when to stop? Most people have called the rapper out for his comments, which are bordering on harassment, and it looks like this time, more family members have been unwillingly dragged inside Yee's many complaints against the Kardashians. Up next, Kanye's complaints about Chris. Yee shared a bunch of screenshots to his Instagram account of what looks like a conversation between himself and Kim Kardashian with a message from momager Chris Jenner as well, begging the rapper to stop mentioning her name. Chris went on to say that at almost 67 years of age, all of this drama obviously doesn't feel great and stresses her out messing with her health. For once, we totally agree with Chris. Jenner. All this anxiety can't be good for anyone. The rapper didn't really feel any remorse though and went on to retaliate claiming that Chris shouldn't have a say over his black children and where they end up going to school. The schools being mentioned over and over again are private institutions in Los Angeles, namely Sierra Canyon and West's very own Donda Academy. The latter is a tuition-based school that claims to prepare students to become leaders, innovators, and thinkers. We thought all schools were we're supposed to do that. Isn't that the entire point of education? Let's take a look at Kim and Kanye's divorce. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's divorce has been anything but amicable and quiet. While most celebrities would prefer discretion over their life affairs being splashed all over the media, Kanye chose the latter route. In a separate message exchange of which he shared screenshots, Ye demanded that he needed to speak to Kim in person and question whether she gets to have a say over the children's schooling just because she's half white. Um, how about the fact that she's perhaps the mother of your children? Does that count? Despite repeated requests from both Kim and Chris asking him to stop, the 45-year-old has been relentless in voicing his opinions. He's been very openly telling the world what he thinks of his former in-laws and how he wants to make sure his children are not influenced by the workings of Kris Jenner like her own children have. What's more, even the Clintons got dragged in. Kanye West also went on a tirade saying that his kids won't be indulging in play boy and tapes, which was an obvious dig at Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian and the unfortunate incidents they faced in the past. West made references to Hillary Clinton and Mark Zuckerberg as well and said in a taunting manner to tell them to come and take him off of Instagram. Well, someone clearly needs to revoke his access. Ye followed up by expressing disappointment and displeasure at the way the media sees him and how they've been portraying him lately. He claimed that he was obviously dealing with wars at the highest level of control and discrimination and gave the example of a conductor turning his back on the audience in order to direct the entire orchestra. Okay then, we guess Ye is the conductor of his life. Wait, are we all conductors of our own lives now? Moving on to the former men in the lives of the Kardashian Jenners. There were several more posts once again about where the kids should go to school before Yeezy started going off on Pete Davidson. He wrote about asking Pete how the tattoos of his kids are doing in the trauma unit. This was a dig at the comedian who got tattoos of Kim's children earlier this year when the two were still dating. The former Saturday Night Live star has been the subject of Ye's wrath ever since he started dating Kim Kardashian, and even their breakup didn't quite stop the constant digs. Next up is the infamous music video. West has been very vocal about his hate for Davidson, even coming up with that horrifying music video for Easy featuring a kidnapped Davidson who was buried alive and decapitated. The video came under fire for its controversial stance and extremely violent visuals 
rules. Many were quick to criticize EA's approach, rightfully so, we think, and even Pete himself was visibly shaken at the extent of the rapper's hate for him. Another post that has now been deleted featured Kanye West giving a shout out to Tristan, Travis Scott. He was largely referring to Tristan Thompson, Travis Scott, and Scott Disick. The three men have fathered at least one child with Kim's siblings, Khloe Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, and Kourtney Kardashian, respectively. In true Ye fashion, he used crude language to describe the men calling them sperm donors and writing that they were in this together. We really have no clue what's going on in Kanye's head, but he seems to have a bone to pick with everyone he's been in touch with in the last couple of years, now blaming Kris Jenner for promoting the Donda rapper's post about the men came a mere hours after he called out Kris Jenner for supporting her children when they shot for Playboy. In the now-deleted post, Wes also admitted to being addicted to and claiming that it destroyed his family, but that's something he's dealing with. He wrote on his account about how Hollywood is one giant brothel and that Instagram fully promotes porn. He also stated that Chris made Kylie and Kim do Playboy and that he won't let it happen to his own daughters north in Chicago. The weirdest part was that this was shared alongside a picture of Kylie Jenner's former assistant, Victoria Villoreal. What does she have to do with anything? Let's talk about calling out fashion giant Gap. Kanye West is apparently super upset and devastated by the recent snubbing of his partnering fashion brand, Gap. Despite that, Kim Kardashian's ex-husband took to Instagram to voice his views on how he isn't bothered by whatever kind of names people are calling him. He started by airing his dirty laundry with the retail giant with whom he signed a 10-year deal back in 2020. He claimed that Gap having meetings without him, Adidas releasing old shoes from his collabs, and him not having a say in where his children go to school all add to the fact that people around him think he's dead or something. Moving on to a six-minute video rant, he shared a six-minute video calling out Gap executives and had a lot to say about how their running the company and what it means for their deal. He claimed that this deal wasn't a collaboration or some celebrity marketing gimmick, but in fact, his life's mission. He also called it their football team, comparing himself to Tom Brady, and threatened the company with quitting and taking his design somewhere else if he wasn't given the time and space to just be yay and do whatever he was thinking of doing. The video thankfully has been deleted since then. Last but not least, Kanye West is looking for new retail partners. He had many issues to voice with Gap and said that while he loves the fashion house, he thought it was crazy how the brand apparently canceled all the pre-orders of his blue round jackets and didn't even do a fashion show. He then went on to post that anybody with over 10 years of retail experience who wants to change the world should step forward and come join him in business. Teaming up with Kanye West might be something brands would have to think twice about following all these angry series of Instagram posts. In a final address, Ye made it clear to both Gap and Adidas that they were contractually obligated to open proper brick-and-mortar stores, adding that neither company has been able to do that even though he allegedly saved both at the same time. While it's very unclear what exactly prompted the musician to start this insane posting spree against the Kardashians and their ex-partners, we did notice that none of the people referenced in the posts have decided to publicly address the comments or even acknowledge the posts in any way. Smart move, we'd say. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any thoughts about Kanye West's incest? and tirade, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one.